Hey guys, it's Casey, and welcome back for another Unreal tutorial. So today, I'm going to do something a little different. We're going to kind of go into a subject that I normally don't like getting into, and I and I guess it's kind of like what you shouldn't do while you're coding. I don't want to say it's like a technique thing, but it's kind of like a workflow thing that you shouldn't do. And we're going to talk about why you shouldn't repeat your code. And I set up just a very simple example here. I've made an, an actor, and I have four cubes inside of this actor. Now, I wrote just a very quick example here, just some random code that you might have in your game based on when some action happens. Now, if I wanted to, I guess I should say a little bit more, this just takes the first cube and we're just doing set rotation, set at scale, we're just calling some random function with information from this cube. Now that handles one of these four cubes. Now what beginners always seem to do, and I see even with people a little bit more experienced, it's like a really bad habit. I guess this is more of a habit thing, that's the word I was looking for. Like if, if we wanted to make this applicable to our second, third, and fourth cube, I, I feel like a beginner, what you would do is you would highlight this, you would control C, you control V, you drag it over, and now we're just gonna take our cube two and plug in our cube two. And you'd be like, yeah, I'm good to go, I did it. but what ends up happening, and while this code does work, and that's why I'm saying this is kind of like a subject I don't like to touch, is because this code works, you're not really losing any performance by doing this, your game file isn't getting like any, like a few kilobytes larger or something, but what ends up happening is that if you do this four times, and sometimes if you're working on something that has a multiple list, and this is where you usually see the copy pasting of code, is when you're doing like lists of things or multiplicities of things, what ends up happening is that Later on, if you ever need to make a change here, whether you need to do an extra Boolean check or you need to call an extra function or whether you, if there's some math involved and in that you wanted to change the math, you'd end up having to go in and you'd have to like do like a branch and do something, some kind of like random Boolean. You'd be like, okay, sure, with weight, do something here. You'd have to do the rest of your stuff and then you'd be copy pasting it, hooking it up, copy pasting it, hooking it and right like this it gets very bad and i've honestly been a very bad kind of i don't know what the word, word here is but i've done this in one of my the first game i ever made i had something where i had a list of maybe like 60 things and i basically did this copy pasting of code and i literally spent days redoing code because i was copy pasting it and just doing awful things and it, it's just bad it, it's just flat out bad so how can we remedy this well, the, the interesting thing here is that we're actually doing a few different things here, right? We're t using the reference of this cube. We're doing some sets to manipulate its data. We're also grabbing from its data to run a function that's inside of even another actor. And what we could actually do here is instead of copy pasting it, and that's kind of the sign if you're if you're ever highlighting a bunch of code and doing copy and then paste, it's probably a good sign that you could probably repeat this code. What we really want to do is we want to make this into a function. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to leave out this cube one reference and I'm going to highlight the rest of the code. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to do collapse to a function. And you'll see here we get a function and we'll just call this our cube function. And what happens is, is because we had three reference pins in there, it's going to reference all three of them, but we know all three of these pins are going to the same actor or that same reference, that same cube reference. So we can just control click, drop our pins in there, delete this pin, delete that pin because it's not used anymore. And we can just call this our cube input. And now what happens is this is going to work exactly the same as before. We're inputting the reference to our, to our static mesh and we're doing all of our manipulation on it and we're not having to, to change our, to at least, or we, we're not having to copy paste our code, I guess. So if we delete those pins, now we have our cube one with our cube function. And guess what we can do down below? We can, let's just delete everything except our cube references. And now we can just copy paste our function, right? That's, that's a bit cleaner than copy pasting all of that code. And now, and actually that's gonna kick some errors, but we're just not gonna compile because the name on the input didn't change. But you, you can see how much cleaner this is. And it's still gonna work for all four cubes. There's gonna be no difference with how it works, but now it's so much cleaner. We're reducing our file size, I guess. I, I forget if functions have some type of performance gain if we were running these like back to back. I'm not sure if they get cached in like memory or the CPU or not. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Um, but now if we ever need to make changes to this function and add a bit more, we're not having to go back and manipulate all of our cubes, our cube code to do it. We're just doing it in one spot. And I think this is a really good habit to start getting into. 
like once again this is just one of those things where it's just something you have to do over time you have to make the mistakes yourself but but know that generally this is the way you want to do it it's cleaner if you're working in groups especially if you're having a bunch of copy pasted code everywhere it really gets messy you want to have it where if you need to manipulate how a it, literally how a function works like when we had the code out in space or i guess when we had this code out in space like this technically what this behaves like this behaves like a function we just didn't have it in one and if we have the same function in 20 different places and we want to manipulate it just put it in a function because that's that's pretty much what you're doing you have to manipulate it once instead of 20 times so that, that's just what i want to get into here try to get in the good habit of it i've seen this in a lot of places you see it in widgets a lot if you have something repeating in widgets inside of actors just generally if you're doing something like this do it like that there's also some other methods say if we want to manipulate the cubes in a row we could do something with a for loop we could do that too like we could do something like this or actually let's do a for loop and we could do since we have four cubes we could do that and that we could loop through this function and we could do a select on our cubes and we could add some pins and now instead of i guess the other way of doing this like this right here would be the same as doing let's copy paste that down if we did this and you can just see how it gets kind of it th this is also bad for a different reason and this is bad because say we wanted to run something in addition to this cube function say we wanted like a separate function here if we made it if we made like our second function and we made an input of that i think that's a static mesh component i believe is what that is like like if we had our second function now that we need to enter now what we need to do is move everything over punch in our second function move everything over punch in our second right like even that doesn't feel very good because once again we're having to do that if we did this above method instead where we're now looping through that we could just punch in our second function and hey it, we're done right so just get in the habit of if you ever find yourself repeating code like either this is an example or putting it inside of this is an example try and get in the habit of finding ways to where you don't have to repeat your code if you ever find yourself repeating yourself or copy pasting things there's probably a better way of doing it and once again it's not really going to save you necessarily performance it's just going to save you time because if you ever need to go back and make changes you're, you're just you're shooting yourself in the foot so that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next tutorial